If the Yanks win, they will advance to the division series round of the playoffs for a fourth consecutive season. Meredith Morakovich joins us now with her clubhouse report. Meredith, a, a nice little wrinkle to the Yankees lineup today for game two. Ryan, it was pretty much a foregone conclusion that Kyle Higashioka was going to catch Garrett Cole in Game 1 based on the fact that they had worked so well down the stretch in the Final Four. Cole was pitching to a 1 ERA with Kyle Higashioka behind the plate. Tonight, however, Aaron Boone decided to make a change going with Gary Sanchez to catch. He will also bat ninth. And as we know, Gary Sanchez has not had the season he would have liked to have had offensively, finishing the regular season with just a 147 batting average. I asked Aaron Boone why he believes that Sanchez might be able to turn things around in the postseason. Just because I know how capable he is, how talented he is. And again, I go back to, you know, a little bit like Gardy, um, even though the results weren't great um, for, for Gary necessarily down the stretch, um, I do feel like the last four to six weeks, the at-bats have been considerably better. Um, and I know the impact he can have with certainly one swing. So um, hopefully he can provide us something uh, down at the bottom of the lineup and, and, and go out there and help lead Massa to a really good start. Aaron, was there debate about starting someone other than Sanchez, either Kratz or uh, Higashioka, and can you take us through that debate? Uh, not really. I was, you know, pretty convicted last night that I wanted to go with Gary. Um, touched, talked briefly with a couple of my coaches about it, but I was, I was pretty set on wanting to go with Gary in the spot. When you say that you're seeing good things or better things from Gary in his last few events, what exactly are you seeing that leads you to believe? Quality of contact. Yeah, um, quality of contact, I, and I wouldn't even say the last few. I'd say the last month. When we dig into the numbers the last month and, and what probably actual results would be, it's a lot more in line with what he's been his entire career. Um, you know, he's he's had a couple – handful of balls that have just missed going out to center field. Um, his walk rate has ticked up a little bit. He's not chasing as much. He's a lot closer to the hitter we, we when we see him at his best. I feel like over the last month, you know, just has the results haven't quite followed yet. Gary Sanchez finished the season just two for 20 with no extra base hits, three walks, and seven strikeouts. Kyle Higashioka was asked the other day whether or not he thinks Sanchez will be affected by the fact that he did not start in game one. And Higashioka responded, there's one thing he knows about Gary Sanchez. He's extremely mentally tough. If anything, it'll spur him on and he will be better than ever. And Aaron Boone will be the first one to tell you anything can change with just one swing of the bat when it comes to Gary Sanchez.